To start off, we look at the use of adjusted funds for moderation. Use of adjusted funds from operations and adjusted rather not adjusted and funds from operations sorry and funds from operations yeah. so under the use you will look at the format the format of calculating the adjusted funds from operations and the format of calculating the funds from operations. Yeah. So in rate valuation, in rate valuation, there are two forms or computations. that provide um, that provide the value of a rate so we look at number 1 funds from operations Now, when calculating the funds from operations, we will first of all start off by looking at the accounting net earnings. So, accounting, you can say format. We start with the accounting net earnings. There, yeah, we have the value like that. Then, once we have the accounting net earnings, we need to add now the component of deferred tax right here. So you add deferred tax liability. We also add depreciation. Yeah. Once we've added the depreciation, when trying to compute the adjusted funds from operations, we need to less now the gains from asset sales. Gains from asset sales. And then we add back losses from asset sales. That. So that we can be able to get what? we can be able to get the funds from operation. Okay. So this is the format. We start off by looking at the accounting net earnings. We add deferred tax liability. Then we add depreciation component. The gains from asset sales are deducted and we add the losses from asset sales there so that we can be able to get the funds from operation. Now, the second method is adjusted funds from operations. From operations. Yeah. You can say A, F, F, O. And here we can say F, F, O. Funds from operations. Now, to get the adjusted funds from operations, we start off by looking at the funds from operations. We have the value there. Once we have the funds from the adjust once we start off with the funds from operations, what we need to look at is we need to get we need to less the non cash rent as well as the recurring maintenance type. So we less the non cash rent. On cash rent, then we also less the recurring, recurring maintenance type, recurring maintenance type. 
investor. So that we can be able to get adjusted funds from operations. Having looked at that, those two components, now we can look at an example which can be able to demonstrate um, um, this application of the adjusted funds from operations and the funds from operations there. So I'll read an example. The following information relates to Uchumi Real Estate Investment Trust rates. You have the current market price per share, 50. Number of, sh of, of outstanding shares, 1.5 million. Then you have the net income given as 337 million. Depreciation is 3,000. Um, and property sale profits is 2,500. The recurring capital expenditures, CAPRI, is 1,575. You are required to compute the funds from operations. And number two, the adjusted funds from operations. Number three, the adjusted funds from operations yield. Yeah. So we have the solution here. We start off by computing the funds from operations. Operations. Now, in computing the funds from operations, we already have the format right over here. We have the accounting net earnings. We get the deferred tax liability, the depreciation, gains from asset sales, then we add the losses from net asset sales there. So we have, from the information given, do we have the, the net income? Yes, you can see the net income there. So net income. Net income is given to us there. And we have 33.75. So what do we do? We need to add the deferred tax liability. Do we have anything to do with deferred taxes? We don't have a deferred taxes, so we ignore that. But I can be able to see that we have depreciation component. So less depreciation. Depreciation is how much? 3,000. There. Then do we have gains from asset sales? Yes, property sale profits has been given as 2,500 there. So we less that gains from asset sales. Sales, 2,500. Um, depreciation was supposed to be added. Apologies, right here. Depreciation was supposed to be added. You can see here, it's adding depreciation. It's not um, lessing depreciation. We add there. So we correct that. Then, do we have uh, losses from asset sales? We don't have any losses from asset sales. We can be able to just now get the funds from operations. Funds from operations. There. So, how much will it be? So, you have 33.75 minus, rather, add 3,000. Then, you minus 2,500. 38.75. That's the funds from operations there. Part 2 is asking us to compute the adjusted funds from operations. So the adjusted funds from operations, we start with funds from operations, we add the non-cash rents, then we less the, we, we, we less the non-cash rents, then we also less the recurring maintenance type expenditures there. So we can move on this other side. So the funds from operations is 38.75. Funds from operations. So we're calculating the adjusted funds from operations. Adjusted funds from operations. Adjusted funds from operations. AFA4. So we start with the funds from operations. Yeah. We have the funds from operations 3875. There. Yeah. Then we less the non-cash rents. Do we have 
non cash rents i don't see um, any um, non cash rents and uh, neither do i see the recurring i can see yes the recurring maintenance type um, expenditure of 1575 so we less recurring maintenance type capri capri has been given to us as 1575 1575 so we less that so that we can be able to get the adjusted funds from operations. Okay. So we have 3875 with less with less uh, 1575. And apologies. We minus 1575. 1575. We have 2300. That is adjusted funds from operation there, or AFFO there. Third part of the question is asking the adjusted funds from operations yield. This was part two. Yeah, this was part one. So part three is asking the adjusted funds from operations yield. AFFO yield the AFFO yield AFFO yield is given as AFFO divided by the market price per share per share and this is the AFFO so that AFFO should be per share per share yeah. so that means we need to get the 2300 over here so we have 2300 over here we divide we, we divide it by the number of shares so we can be able to get the adjusted fund from operation per share so the number of shares outstanding given to us there is um, 1.5 million so we can say in this case it is 1500 so it is 1500 over there 2300 divided by 1500 divided by 1500 1.5 that is AFFO per share now the market price per share has been given in the question it has been given as 50 shillings per share so AFFO yield is given as AFFO per share 1.5 divided by 50 so that we can be able to get how much 0 0.03 0 0.031 there